do it. So let me just share my screen. Uh, uh, one sec. Let me just go to our email services. Mm -hmm. Starting February 2024, there's actually a new email compliance set by Yahoo and Google that they will uh, stop or they will be very, very strict with uh, their, uh, the, uh, the emails that their users um, will receive. So for all the people that will send out emails from any, any CRM, this is not just for Techmetics. It will be applicable to MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, and any um, email sending like application that they need to have their verified domain set up. That includes SPF records, DKIM, and DMARC needs to be set up to the domain provider. So in our mm -hmm. case, since you are uh, sending your emails inside Techmetics, Techmetics will provide you the SPF records and DKIM records that you need to get verified into your domain server. So let me just maybe explain to you that the, currently on your email services, by default, if you sign up with Techmetics, automatically you're sending your emails coming from our domain, which is mg.techmetics.com. So most of our users are doing it, are currently on this like uh, server. This actually works fine like previously, but since February 2024, last month, uh, Google and Yahoo announced that this can't be happen anymore. All of the users inside Techmatics or any other like CRM needs to have uh, to send their emails from their own dedicated domain. So it needs to be mg.yourdomain.com. So uh so you can't start uh, you can't um send emails from Techmatics anymore. Uh I think technically you can, but you might be blocklisted in the long run. So we we don't want that to happen. So we really um we really suggest that you will need to set up your dedicated domain in here. So yeah, so when you click on dedicated domain and IP, you can just add your domain and then you can have, uh, you have the option to add, add a subdomain coming from mail.yourdomain.com, for example, whatever your domain is, or you could either have mail.yourdomain.com. So that's how it's currently set up. Let's have, for example, I'll set up uh, .net. Let me just try to verify this one first. Oh, I already have an existing record with this one. I'll see if I can get through. I'll just close this one down so I can have a clear view on how this looks like. So this is how it is. Let me just click and verify. So automatically, it will create five unique records that need to be added in your domain. So if you guys think that this is too technical for you to handle, you can just email me at supportedtechmedics.com so we can help you set it up. So yeah, so these are all the SPF and DKIM records. DMARC is not included in here, but our tech experts will help you identify if you have a DMARC record added into your domain server. So yeah, so don't worry about if you think this is too complicated. We'll definitely help you step-by-step step on how it needs to be done. So yeah, any other questions? Okay, Nat um, thank you, Nat. Okay, no problem, Andrea. You can just email me, Andrea, if you have any questions about it. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how yeah. about... Mm -hmm. Could that be what's happening with my mail? Uh, yeah, that's basically what's happening. Uh, who's... Oh, uh, no, Carl, we already have set this one up yeah, uh, earlier, so. prior yeah. to February, actually. You already set this up in your account. So you okay. might need to check your uh, permissions as a user of the account. So let me just stop sharing my screen and I'll maybe broadcast this one first. Uh, tech toolbox then it's here. Let me just try to share it with people who can't jump jump onto Zoom. So yeah, other questions aside from that? I think we're good. Okay, got it. So let me just try to share it with our group. And uh, we're broadcasting live on our Facebook group. So if you guys are not yet a member to our Facebook community group, um, I really suggest to, uh, for you to join because we have a lot of um, updates and announcement that we usually announce to our group. So just give me one sec while I get, uh, I'll get our link. Um, one sec. Okay, here we go. So I sent the I will send the link to uh the Zoom chat. So if you guys are not yet in our Facebook group, I really suggest that you will jump on. So that's the link for you to join. 
So I'll just share my screen so we can start with our session for today. So we're going to discuss about the new updates we got with Techmetics, especially with the new uh, multiple GMB pages that you can link to your account and also new updated template library and the custom values that can be added to your funnel pages and website pages. So yeah, so uh, you guys can just put in your question to the Zoom chat if you have any maybe particular questions for me or with Techmatic so we can deal with it. So yeah, so the first thing that we need to do is you need to go to settings. I'll introduce you guys to our labs here for the labs menu. Um, everything that you can find here under the labs are our beta program. So these are all the pre-release um, feature in Techmatics that is not live yet in the market, but we are offering it to be tested by our users on a beta mode. So you'll be expecting some maybe bugs and some of the like, uh, what do you call this? Some bugs and uh, errors because currently this is still like on a testing mode if it's marked as beta. So if you guys want to maybe test it out before it will be released in the market or it will be released live, you can just go to settings, go to labs, and turn on any of the features that you want to get access before it will go live. So you can just toggle this uh, like button right here to enable it to your account. Do some quick refreshes and whatever feature that you have turned on in here will automatically be um, live in your account. So yeah, so what we're going to do here is this new upcoming update we got with connecting multiple GBP business or pages into some account. This will be great for all uh, for those people who manage multiple businesses inside Techmatics. So if you guys have multiple um, Google My Business page associated with your email, you can now, um, uh, what do you call this? You can now integrate uh, multiple Google My Business pages inside Techmatics. Linking your Google My Business pages inside Techmatics will help you verify and review all of your Google My Business page activity. It could be coming from GMB messaging, uh, review requests, uh, reputation management, and stuff like that. So when you go to integrations right here, previously, if you're going to link your email, you can only link one Google My Business page, which is actually very, is a turn off to those people who have multiple business uh. Google My Business pages, but now so with our new update that's currently in beta and will go live in five days, we can now link multiple Google My Business page. So just make sure that whatever email you set as your primary email has mm -hmm. access to those Google My Business page that you want to link. So currently this is, uh we are linking it with Techmatic's Google My Business page. When you click on Manage page, if you have multiple pages on your Google My Business, you can just turn it on by, um, let's just wait for that to load, sorry. Uh, you can just turn it on from here. It will have our, uh, its own toggle that you can turn on if you want it to be linked into your account. Uh, hang on, let me just close this one down. Let's try, okay, that's it. It's actually, it actually popped up the moment I close it. Um, okay, let's just wait for that to load. And while we're waiting, let's see if we have any questions to our Facebook group. Okay, this is it. So currently, I only have it linked with our Techmatics um, Google My Business page. Uh, let's have, for example, you will have a lot of Google My Business page in there. You can just turn it on by clicking on this toggle right here. And automatically, that Google My Business page will be linked into your account. So that's one of the new updates we got. Another one is we can now customize all the funnel template that can be found on your template library. Template library will include all the email template that can be found in your forms, survey, funnel, websites, and emails. So this one, I'll show you something from Email Builder. So when you go to Email Builder, uh, click on New and choose from Marketing Templates. Uh, this emails now, uh, Technetics team can now load uh, our own personal emails in here that can be used to your business um, and be tailored into whatever you want to use it for. Uh, so yeah, we can now update the email templates in here. So if you guys have any recommendations or suggestions of the email templates that can be used to your business or it could be like, you know, could be use, uh, useful for everyone, just let us know. Just post it on our Facebook group or maybe send me an email at supporttechmatics.com. So we can create more email templates that can be used for your business and also that will help other uh, Techmatics users. So yeah, 
So these are some of the new email templates that we loaded to each of the account. We now have email receipt template. If you want to send out automatic receipt when someone made a purchase with your courses, it could be your products and stuff like that. We also optimize our master email template and these other two are for the course email. Yeah, so that's for the emails. And if we go to websites and funnels, uh, new funnel, we loaded our um our new templates yesterday into the funnels so that both of the users who are on the starter plan and pro plan will have access to it. So when you go to from templates, we have uploaded five new Linktree templates. So if you guys haven't have any Linktree pages yet, I really suggest you create one because it will actually um like increase your traffic to get more traffic into your websites or maybe some of your offers. So yeah, so let me just try to check on chat. I would love to have Sarah's B course description page. Okay, got it. I will also maybe try to check on that one. Graham, can you maybe put the link on the Zoom chat so I can also check on it so we can have it as our template? Or maybe a screenshot that you can send to support at technetics.com so we can replicate it and load it to all of the accounts. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so these are some of the new uh, link to templates that we have. Let me just have, for example, this one, just click on this eye icon and then it will give you a preview of how the page will look like. You can just click on continue and automatically that funnel will be loaded to your account. So what you're going to do next is, let me just try to wait for this one to load. It might take like a minute or two before the actual template will show up. So what you want to do is maybe refresh the page quick. And then let's just wait for that. Um, just give me one sec while I check on my other screen. Ah, it's not yet loaded. So let me just try to refresh it again. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll go here. It usually would take some time. Uh-huh. Let me just try to reload it first. It's taking some time. It usually does it when I'm live. Let me just try to change my connection quick. Oh my god. Oh my god, sorry, that's me. I think that's my internet. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hang on. One sec. Let me just try to. I think it should be stable now. So I have to update it. Okay. I'm sorry for that. It's actually not working for me. Um, let me just try to check at it. I'll see if I can have a different, yeah. So usually he does it because I have it uh, broadcasted and also I have it recorded. That's why it's slowing me down. Yeah, so let's see if I can re get through. I need to get through this page. Let me just try to uh, go to a different menu first. Then I go to funnels. Mm-hmm. I'll maybe go to the most recent one I get. And it would be this one. See if I can have access to it now. Yeah, it's still taking some time. Maybe I'll just use one that I already preloaded earlier. 
uh, it will be this link to E5. Yeah, maybe let's just use this one. I'll edit this one up. Oh, sorry. I'm not sharing my screen, right? No, you're not. Oh, gosh. That's it. Sorry, that's why it looks weird. So yeah, so I just uh I just choose a different template that we can use because uh we can actually it's not really working it for me. So yeah, so this is a sample of a uh what do you call this a link to template that we uh pre uh recently loaded to your account. So everything in here can be updated, including this background uh image right here. You can maybe upload your own uh background like pattern or template or whatever you want to load as your background, or you can also have a plain solid color if you want. And also this color can be updated into what, uh, I mean, this image. So you can just click on this image right here, upload from your library, and you can just upload your own uh, like image that you want to add in into this link tree template. Uh, just a tip, we actually have this uh, image edited on Canva first. So we made it as a round image for it to fit into this template. So you guys would like to maybe do that also if you want to, uh, use this uh, exact template. You're muted. Nat, I can't hear you. Yeah, I think it's our internet connection. Yeah. yeah, it's me. Sorry, that's the second time. I just switched, so let's see if that works now. So, yep, sorry for that, guys. Let me just try to share my screen again. Is it visible now? Yeah, yeah we've got it. this won't cut off. Yeah. Mm -mm. So, yeah. yeah. So, again, for each of the... Uh, because the link tree will include uh, a lot of buttons in there that you can maybe have people redirect into your website into your contact page, into your offer page, into your product page, and stuff like that. So if each of this button can be customized, so for example, when I click on this button, this text for the free consultation can be um, updated through here in this text options. So you can maybe check, uh, change it into check out my new blog. And then for the button action, you need to set it up into it redirecting into a specific website URL and you can have your actual blog link in here so that if you have this uh, link tree maybe on your Instagram profile or maybe in your Facebook profile and when people click on that button will be automatically redirected to the page where you want them to be redirected to. Same with the other button you can just click on it update it here on the right hand side. All the colors can be updated uh, I mean up uh, like you know customize it to whatever color that you like. So this is specifically how we set it up, but you could definitely customize it depending on your needs. And also this social icons right here can be updated into something else. So for example, currently, this is how it looks like, but you can head over to Teams if you want to maybe uh, update the theme of the social icons. So you can either have it like this, you can have, either have it like this, like this, this white or whatever. So we have this a lot of uh, options for you to choose whatever uh, social media icon theme that you want to choose. And then most importantly, you need to have the social icons redirect into your actual social page. So click on the actual social icon that you want to update. Click on the pencil icon and then have your Facebook, uh, I mean, have your Facebook link added in here. So you can just add in your Facebook link in here. So when people click on this uh like icon automatically they'll be redirected to the page where you want them to be redirected to so after you've done you can just save it and every time you're going to uh maybe create a link tree what you actually need to do most importantly is make sure that your mobile mode is actually um like what it called is can be accessed by the mobile users because most of the link tree uh pages are like you know being accessed through mobile phones and stuff like that so make sure that your uh, mobile mode for your websites, it could be your landing pages and also with your link tree, um, works fine with the mobile mode. So just click on this like icon on top, 
to check on how this template will look like on mobile view. So currently, this is how it looks like on mobile view. All of the uh, configuration inside Techmatics have the option to adjust it on mobile and on desktop. So this is not, for example, this text right here. When you're going to adjust the font size of the text, it will actually give you an option to adjust it on a mobile view or on a web view. So if you guys want to update anything on your mobile view, just switch it over into mobile view and adjust it from here. So that's basically how you're going to adjust it. Oh, that's too big. Hang on. Let me just try to change it into 28. So yeah. And all of the buttons can be adjusted. Uh, but I don't think we have... We have something with the font size, but I don't think with the paddings and stuff like that. But yeah. Oh yeah, we actually have padding for mobile view. That's actually new. So yeah. So again, make sure if you're going to, uh, before you're going to publish your site, make sure that you have already checked your mobile view in order for you to check that it will be accessible through mobile or if you have the right size or the right like setup into the mobile view. So yeah. And while we're here, let me just try to save it. We actually have a new update from Techmatics, which now has the native um, cookie content policy inside Techmatics. So prior to this one, most of our clients actually have um, the cookie content uh, like banner uh, created from a third party provider and have it embedded customly inside Techmatics. But now we already have it uh, live inside our Techmatics funnel builder, and it's also available with a website builder. So what you're going to do is you need to click on this icon right here. Uh, it will be the second to the last icon. Click on cookie consent. And what you need to do is you can just enable this cookie consent. You can read through this policy right here. And you can click on this uh, data right here. So it will uh, it could give you more information about this cookie policy. Uh, once you're OK, you can just click on checkbox, click on agree. And that cookie pop up will now be added in here. So you have the option to maybe ask them to opt in for cookies or do not ask them to opt in for cookies. So you can, um, it depends on the policy or the compliance you want to set. For the message description, you can definitely update it in something else. And then if you want to have a custom uh, cookie policy added into your banner, what you're going to do is you can just click on link to own policy. And what you're going to do is paste your cookie policy content creation here. So, so for example, I'll just get a uh, Techmatics privacy policy page. Quick one sec. Because I actually find uh, found it a bug about this one. So I, I think it would be better if we're going to show you how uh, to work it out. I don't have the policy here. Let's just go. Uh, privacy. Let's have, for example, let's just pretend this is our uh, cookie policy. So I'll just get the privacy page from Techmatics. So let's pretend this is a cookie policy. So it needs to be a cookie policy. If you need help on how to set up a cookie policy, you can just click on this instruction right here. It will actually um, like help you <clears throat> add some stuff inside your cookie policy. I think, I mean, cookie policy uh, page. So these are the, uh, the stuff that needs to be added in your cookie consent or cookie policy. So you can just copy all of this stuff and add it to your cookie policy. So yeah. So the software example, that will be all good. I already set up my cookie policy. What I'm going to do is I'll paste the uh, my cookie policy link in here. Uh, but one bug that actually have uh, discovered with this new update, because we already have, uh, we got it like I think two days before. So there might be still some bugs that need to be fixed in this like exact feature. But even though you already have the HTTPS in here, if you're putting the link here without HTTPS, it won't actually work. So I really suggest um, you can just add in the actual link, including the HTTPS into this uh, checkbox right here or into this like field right here in order for your cookie policy to work. So yeah, that's basically for the cookie policy. You can also check, uh, change this certain more like text right here into something else. And let's go to styling options so we can customize the cookie banner. Currently, this is a yellow banner. I'll maybe change it into purple so I can have it customized into what I have currently, maybe this one. And they call, you can also change the font size into like something bigger or whatever. And then you can also change the text color into something else. 
So these are all the styling options you can do with your cookie policy. And for the link color, currently this is dark. You can also change it into something else, depending on how you're going to set it up. So maybe I'll just use something like blue. I think that's clear. And you have the option to change your button colors and stuff like that. And for the advanced settings, this is for essential cookies. We actually haven't had some training about it, so we might need maybe create a different training for that. But I'm going to save this funnels. And let's try to preview it so we can see how it looks like. So let's try to preview it. And this is how this link tree funnel looks like on my end. And it has the cookie policy in here. Of course, this is not just applicable with a uh, link tree funnel. It will also be applicable to your websites, landing pages, and stuff like that. So I think we have a message here. Let me just try to click on that. We have Carol in my Linktree mobile. I turn off some of the longer options, but it shows so small. Can this be improved? Can you maybe send me a link to your uh, Linktree page, Carol, so we can check? Okay, thanks, Nat. I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, no problem. So you might have, uh, maybe I'll show you how uh, how that's done in a bit. But yeah, so basically this, any questions about the Linktree page and maybe cookie policy and stuff? Are we all good? Yeah, I think we're all good. So yeah, this is how you can set up your uh, link tree. You can customize a button into something else. It could be your offer pages. It could be your high ticket products and stuff like that. And also including all of this stuff right here. So yeah, so I can just click on, uh, for example, if I click on learn more on my cookie policy banner, it should redirect me into the privacy policy. And if I go back, I just click on accept all. And whenever I visit this page, uh, it won't actually show up if I already have click on accept all, but it will uh, maybe show up into uh, an incognito. So yeah. And also to address the question uh, Carol has, I think some of our old templates actually has it. So for example, this uh, image right here, um, Carol, uh, maybe let's have this. Yeah, maybe let's have this image. When you go to advanced, you actually have the option to show this element, like this exact element, because this is highlighted as uh, orange, into making it visible on mobile and on the web. I think since yeah. you're uh, editing your uh, link tree funnel into a web, you, uh, you are not aware that some of the elements are actually visible on mobile, but not visible on web. So what I want you to do, Carl, is if you can also maybe send me a message about this one, you can just go to the actual like link tree template that you got, switch over to mobile view, and make sure to delete some of the necessary boxes in there that you don't want to be added into your page. Or you also yeah. have the option to make it like visible or not visible to maybe add our mobile web. Yeah, I did I did do uh, that exact step because it wasn't showing up at all on mobile. So I've I've learned about that, but it it's just got these little boxes. Okay, um, that you can't bear I'll send it, you can't I'll send it. Okay, got it. And also, for example, this is currently in web view, right? So I click, I just click on web view. If I'm going to click on this image, as I'm going to hide the visibility on mobile, uh, on web, what will happen is you will don't you won't have access to that image through the web view. But if you're going to switch over to mobile view, you will have access to this image because we have customized the visibility to just show up. Uh, into mobile and not on the web. So some of the templates have it. So you guys need to be careful with that one too. If you need help with those, you can just email me at support techmatic so we can also check on it because it might be uh, very like tricky, uh, like stuff to check because you need to check each of the columns, each of the rows, each of the section to make sure that there are some hidden elements in there that you need to make it uh, to make it visible. So yeah, any questions so far? Uh, I think we're good. So yeah, so let me just try to go back. And I think that actually covers most of the uh, stuff that we need to discuss during our Tech Toolbox demo for today. So yeah, I think that's basically it. So I, I think we have covered some stuff that we need to address. And I'll just maybe get back to those people who have uh, raised a question prior to our session. So yeah. 
So before we could end our session, do you have do you guys have any questions for me? Uh, do you yeah. guys have any? Yep. Yeah. Would Would you like me to send that link to you on Messenger or an email? Uh, yeah. Maybe send it on Messenger, Carol, so I can easily see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any questions so far? I think we're all good. I. Sorry, got to run. Yeah, so this is for, yeah. So for Graham, about your question about uh, SARS B course description pages, please send a link to me over um, supported tech matters account email so we can replicate it and have it uh, available to all of our users. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I was trying to find that for you now, but I'm I'm locked out of my account, so I can't access the courses page, but I'll, I'll send it to you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, no problem. So yeah, and let me just try to copy it. Uh, so yeah, so I think that's it for our session for today. Thank you so much for jumping on with me, guys. So if you have any recommendation of the session, we can do with our tool uh toolbox. We can just post a suggestion in our Facebook group, and you can also just email me at support at techmatics.com. So yeah, so I think that's it for me today. Thank you so much for jumping on with me today. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye nice Take care. Thank you.